Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Brand new deal by Palantir that is out with Integrity Tools Mines. This is like the fifth deal in two weeks. Uh, we had a lot of new deals, CDC, Tampa Bay, Crisis 24. This is a multi-million dollar partnership um, with Integrity Tool. And I've never heard of Integrity Tool before, so we're gonna look into what they do today and what they are. We're gonna see why Palantir got this deal and then we're gonna go deep dive into the point of this deal ultimately. Palantir, a leading builder of operating systems for the modern enterprise and technology, and Integrity Mold and Tool, a global pioneer in the tool and mold industry. I didn't even know the tool and mold industry had an industry. Today announced the partnership to deploy Palantir Foundry across business functions at Integrity to help support the company's growth and cement its leading position in the market. This multi year, multi million dollar deal will help optimize Integrity's operations from the factory floor to sales, product design, scheduling, and engineering, helping revolutionize how the company operates and how its leaders run the business. Now, this right here is the standard typical PR that we get from every Palantir to your press release because what they are doing with their foundry software is operationalizing data in a variety of verticals within the business whether it's engineering scheduling product design factory stuff all of that gets factored in to how Palantir operates them. Uh, the Foundry operating system is designed to lead to better data-driven decisions at all levels by using the data organizations already have and helping them optimize their um, company's existing data foundation. Founded in 2000 by a mold maker, Integrity has grown from a single plant to five facilities in three locations in North America, projecting revenue of more than $230 million, $230 million Canadian dollars in 2023. Aware of the importance of cutting-edge technology to guarantee the speed of execution and a competitive advantage over foreign manufacturers, the company has been investing in its digital transformation. For example, Integrity is setting up connectors to extract data from its machines. This machine connectivity will be extended and augmented by Palantir. Now, one of the things that I want to say before I get into some of the quotes here on uh, this press release is that this is a smaller company. Uh, a company doing $230 million, $230 million Canadian dollars in revenue is not necessarily a Fortune 500 company. It's not a Fortune 100 company. It's not even a Fortune 1000 company. It's a good company. $230 million is not a hard, is not an easy thing to do in revenue by any sense of the imagination, but it's not the typical clients that Palantir works with, which seems to signal that some of the deals they're getting, um, especially with some of these smaller sort of institutions or companies like Tampa Bay General House. Well, I know Tampa Bay is very big, but obviously it's not you know printing money like the Fortune 500 giants, is that they're going a little bit more mass market. It. They're trying to get deals with people and companies and organizations that aren't, you know, maybe $100 million deals, $45 million deals. I think on average, their deals like six, seven billion a year. Maybe this is only, you know, a $10 million deal over five years. Maybe it's a $2 million deal per year, but $2 million is still $2 million in revenue. Um, I don't know what the specifics are, but honestly, I would rather have 100,000 clients that are anywhere from, you know, 100,000 in revenue to 500 million in revenue versus only 10 clients that do 5 billion in revenue. Obviously, you want to have a more mass product pro more, more mass product more mass market product because that leads to the scalability and the eventual accentuation of more and more customers finding out about your product potentially, even developing a product that could go to consumers. I don't think that's going to happen, but you want to be a more well-known brand. Salesforce is everywhere. Snowflake is everywhere. Now, if Palantir has technology differentiations that are 10,000 times better than those companies that do fundamentally different things than those companies. That's amazing. But can you get the entire world to use those things? Can you get a simple, you know, grocery store that does 2.5 million in revenue to make better decisions because they're using Palantir Foundry? And if you could, what does that mean for the scalability of the business? So this was one of the things I took away from the press release, which is that they're working with a company that's rather smaller than some of the companies they work with. Um, and as a result of that, hopefully that leads to more scaling of the business. Some quotes, Paul D. Giovanni, Integrity's founder and CEO says, thanks to our talented and hardworking team, we have extracted all the potential out of our current system, but wanted a more advanced data platform to reach our full potential. He also says Palantir Foundry is aligned with our desire to act with speed to push the boundaries of what is possible and will take integrity to a new level. Uh, Palantir believes software has a critical role in ensuring the job security of tomorrow's workforce and its technology aims to amplify, not replace human decision making. Foundry is a vertically integrated platform that bridges the full spectrum of data operations and can be used by a workforce through organizations. Uh, David McNaughton, president of Palantir Technologies Canada, says our partners at Integrity recognize that software and technology are key for North American manufacturers to compete globally and to preserve manufacturing manufacturing jobs, which is a big deal. You don't preserve jobs without having an efficient business. Everyone's talking about layoffs right now. One of the things that stops layoff is making sure that you don't have to cut costs in the human capital department. Meaning if you can optimize your supply chain and save 5 million bucks, you might be able to save 10,000 jobs. I mean, like this is the literal life or death uh, types 
of, of, of decisions that have to be made in businesses. And that's where Palantir, which has been very pro-worker, very anti-automation, because they believe that democracy requires people having a purpose and meaning in their life. And in order to have purpose and meaning, you need to have a job, you need to contribute to society in some type of meaningful capacity. They don't want people to be replaced. They've always said their software is a tool to help people, not a tool to replace people. So it is a good thing that they can preserve manufacturing jobs, jobs that could be cut because they're more blue collar. It's harder to cut, you know, like a tech worker's job. Um, just by making sure that you optimize other parts of the business. This partnership shows how our cutting edge technology can benefit companies of all sizes, and we are proud to support Integrity's pursuit of excellence. And again, that is also a good thing that he said that because his argument is that, look, we're not just working with the Fortune 500 companies. We can help a lot of other people. Uh, Palantir Software is currently deployed in more than 50 industries and helps power decisions in some of the most complex data environments in the world, including healthcare, natural resources, manufacturing, and government. In Canada, Palantir is growing where it already employs more than 50 people and works with customers in government, finance, healthcare, energy, and manufacturing. Palantir, big in the UK, big in the United States, and now expanding in Canada. Look, I... And these are the deals that get me excited. These are the deals I like. Uh, these are small, minute deals that Wall Street's not going to care about, not going to affect the stock by any sense of the imagination. In fact, the stock is down today. Uh, the stock is down pretty bad. I think the stock is currently at like $6.90 as of uh, recording this. If we go to it right now, we go look at Palantir. Uh, $6.87. Uh, so uh, obviously, you know, down 2%, the entire market's down. But uh, the market is not happy with what's going on with Palantir and the market is not happy with what's going on with a lot of other companies and these types of deals are not going to save them, but they are laying the foundation for a larger future to happen, for Palantir to be able to grow in Canada, for Palantir to be able to get their name out and for Palantir to get a lot of case studies in the next maybe 18 months as the market is down to be able to establish themselves as an industry player, hopefully have a better, stronger go to market. And then when we turn out on the other side of this, Wall Street for them to recognize. I mean, that's the game plan when it comes to Palantir, and we'll see if that ends up happening. But dope deal by Palantir. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. This is like the fifth deal, and again, two weeks, so it's nice to see them ramping up towards the end of the year. Now, the end of the year also signals a good thing for Palantir because a lot of companies have to unload their budgets, and they a lot of software sales end up happening in Q4 uh, because everyone wants to get everything done before they go to Christmas break and before they start the new year. So that could also explain a lot of the reasons why Palantir are getting these new deals towards the end of the year. Thanks so much for listening and watching. Hope you leave a comment. I'll see you in the next one.